never run out of power with this mini power station. Let's have a look. Dave Taylor here and I'm looking at this. This is the Renogy Phoenix 100 mini power station and it's pretty awesome actually. It's a 27,000 milliamp hour battery basically. So that's so much power that you can actually plug in 110 volt devices and charge them or power them. So you could run a fan if you want to use a really nice cooling system while you're on a hike. You could use that by plugging it in. You can even charge your laptop. Yep, you can charge your laptop off of this device. We'll get there in just a second. But let me show you the top here as sort of a close up. And you can see one of them is labeled input. That's the micro USB. That's how you charge this thing. So you charge it and it takes a couple hours, gives you a little LED display on the front, which is really nice. So you know how charged it is. And I think if I push the button, you can see here's all the lights. This is fully charged. This has a lot of power in it. This is about 10 times the battery of your smartphone, just to give you sort of a measure there. Now, it comes with overcharge, short circuit, and surge protection circuitry built in. And there's a fan on the bottom because batteries generate heat when they're in use because of the chemical processes, right? So that's why we have computers and tablets where they swell or they burst or something because they generate heat. That heat doesn't have anywhere to go. So this isn't going to have that because it has a cooling system built in. So that's pretty handy. Now, the outputs are what this is really all about. And on the output side, there is a USB-A, aka USB 3.0, and that gives you 5 volts of DC at 2.4 amps. So it's pretty good amperage. And then there's a USB-C, and that also gives you the same sort of characteristics, 5 volts DC with 3 amps, a little bit higher. But the real shining glory of this is the AC. And you'll notice as a whole that gives you the ability to plug in a grounded plug. This is not grounded. If your device needs grounded power because of, I don't know, whatever, maybe possibilities with short circuiting or something, then this has protection, but your device doesn't necessarily. So this is not something I recommend you use with a grounded plug. But if you have a two-prong plug, like for example, my MacBook Pro charger two-prong plug, then this is a glorious thing. And this generates 110 volts at 60 hertz, and it's rated for 85 watts, which is plenty, but it can peak at up to 100 watts. So what does all this mean? It means we can charge and power things. So let's start out. I'm going to just go ahead and plug in the USB 3. This is a Qi wireless charging station. And then I have my Show me Mi 9 smartphone. This I'm in the middle of reviewing this, so stay tuned for that review too. This is a really sweet phone. But put it on the wireless charger and it is charging. So this thing can power my wireless charger. Whatever, it's not that hard, right? So now USB-C and let's take the other end and let's try a different thing. Let's try plugging the phone into the USB-C and it's charging, right? Again, not a huge surprise. There's plenty of devices on the market that can help you charge your phone. But let's do this instead. Let's actually plug this in to my charger, unplug this, and then we're going to just sort of shuffle things around a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my MacBook charger into this, and there's a little green light. Sometimes I find you have to push the power button to get this plug to go live. Um, they say that in the instructions. And we already have the fan. I'm going to show the, put it close to the mic so you can hear it. So it's pretty inoffensive, but you do notice it. But of course, it's totally worth it because it's going to charge my MacBook Pro in the middle of nowhere. I can be on a hike or something or like on some great meditation retreat up in the mountains, pull this out, plug it in. And now let's have a quick look and I am indeed charging. And as you can see from this hardware profile snapshot, it's getting the full 60 watts out of this. This is a 61 watt charger actually, but it is indeed charging my computer at full speed. It will charge faster if I leave it closed, but 
this device is actually a bit of a rock star. It's awesome, right? So I'm going to unplug it again because I just want you to be able to see the dimensions. This is, and there's the sort of rubber seal on the top. This is not IPX7 or anything. Do not use this in the rain. That would end badly. But it is totally portable. It is 17.8 ounces, so it's about a pound. It basically feels like a heavy can of soda. And you can see by the height, this is 5.8 inches tall. This is just a smidge taller than a can of soda. So if you're drinking Monster Energy, this is probably smaller than that Monster Energy or Arizona tea can that you consume, right? Similar dimensions, you can see across the top, it's 2.7 inches across and this way, obviously, since it's square. So super easy, super portable. I don't know that I would put this in my pocket. It's a little smidge big and heavy for that, but this is something you could easily throw into a backpack. And then while you're at your campsite overnight, you can use this to power some lamps or to charge up your GPS, whatever it is you need to do. This of course also is a really great emergency fail safe. If you keep this charged and for some reason you lose power, this gives you emergency power for whatever devices you really, really need when otherwise all your electricity is gone. So I'm a big fan. And, you know, like I said, 27,000 milliamp hours is a lot of battery inside this thing. So do not just throw this in the garbage if it ever goes bad on you. But they have a warranty, too, so you want to check that out. So anyway... All that's left to talk about is the price. But before we get to the price, let me ask if you can subscribe to my channel. I get tons of devices. I'm super honest with all my reviews, and I appreciate when you subscribe. Next up, well, I don't know if it's next up, but coming very soon is my review of this. And this is the, let me just sort of unlock it so you can see. Uh, it's not unlocking. Uh, maybe I use a different figure. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, this <laughs> is the Show Me Mi 9, which is their new flagship phone. It is gorgeous. It's really cool and at a startling price. And that you will find out about by, you guessed it, subscribing to my channel. So please do so. Awesome. Now, this is the Renogy Phoenix 100 Mini Power Station, and it's $159.99 at Renogy.com. So it's pretty expensive compared to smaller, lighter batteries. But seriously, why would you want like a 10,000 milliamp hour when you can have 27,000 milliamp hours? This thing's very cool. It is definitely a keeper. And if you have any worries about power ever going out or you want to be super mobile and still in control and be able to charge your laptop in the middle of nowhere, this is a really awesome device. So that's all I got. So I will hope to catch you in my next video.